Good afternoon, my all bright and brilliant grade 2 students. Welcome back to our health education online class. Today, we are going to continue our lessons that we have learned in the previous session. Did you guys still remember what did you guys learn last week? So your lesson last week was about germs, germs everywhere, right? And that was our first session or first section of our lesson. Today, we will continue to the section, another section which is about getting rid of germs. So I want to do a quick review with the previous session first before getting to this point. Okay, as we know, germs are everywhere. Germs can be on our clothes, on our bodies, or even on our hair, and even also in the air. When you breathe in the air, germs can go inside to your body. All right. So um, germs mostly like to live in dirty places, but not only in the dirty places, can be everywhere. If we don't have a, a clean or proper place that we don't arrange or put it up tidy, for sure, germs like to live right there, okay? And we can do something to get rid of germs. So what are the tips or the ways that we can do to get rid of germs? Take a look at the whiteboard. I have something to share with you right now. So to get rid of germs, we should have proper hygiene. What are the activities or things that we should do to practice the proper hygiene? Okay, so I have uh, some tips right here for you to practice to have the proper hygiene. The first one, wash our hands with soap as often as possible. Okay, always remember to wash your hands with soap. And if you can do it uh, very often, it would be nice because you can clean your hands. And when you are washing your hands, don't forget to apply soap. When you apply soap and scrub your palms together, scrub it, count from 1 to 30, wash your hand at least 30 seconds, scrub your palms together with soap so that you can remove the germ from your palms and they will not be on your, your palms anymore, okay? So the first tip is to wash the hands with soap as often as possible. Not only before eating, or not only after visiting the toilet, can be any time you feel like your hands are dirty, you have to wash them quickly, okay? Apply soap, scrub your palms together so that we can remove germs perfectly, okay? Remember to wash your hands with soap. All right. Right, the second one, trim your nails. Okay, we have to trim the nails. You have long nails, you have to trim, okay? Because a germ can stay in our nails. If you don't trim, keep them long. It's easy to uh, attract the germs because germs like to live right there, okay? So trim your nails, okay? Check your nails every week. If your nails grow long, so you have to trim them, all right? The other part of this we are talking about, take a shower at least twice a day. Okay, take a shower at least twice a day. So if if you have time, it would be nice if you can take shower uh, three times per day, okay? Actually, people have no time at lunch. They are busy at work. They cannot return home for taking shower. They can take shower in the morning and evening, but two times is, yeah, it's good enough, right? So at least twice per day, not only once, okay? or you just skip taking shower like you just take shower in two days no it's not you know, your body will be smelly and your body is full of germs okay so remember to take a shower at least twice a day if you can take a shower three times per day it will be nice okay right and remember to wash your bodies or wash our bodies with soap when you are washing or taking a shower, you need to wash your body, right? So wash and clean your body with soap because soap can remove the dirt, can remove the germs from the body. As I told you, germs are everywhere, can be on our body as well. So if we just take shower, just shower our body without scrubbing, without our washing the body with the soap, for sure, germs still stay right there in and when germs form together, when a lot of germs or too many germs form together, they will make you sick, right? 
The other uh, tip that we should practice the proper hygiene is wash our hair with shampoo. Yes, germs can be on our hair too, right? So we need to wash our hair with shampoo. Shampoo not only keep our hair neat and nice, it can also wash the germs, kill the germs, okay? And our hair will be healthy, all right. Always keep our clothes clean, definitely. You have to keep your clothes clean all the time. Do not just play, just laying down on the floor in the dirty places or sit down in a, uh, on a unclean chairs that make your clothes become dirty. Germs like to stay in the dirty places as I told you. So always keep their clothes clean. One more is the last one. Keep your surroundings clean. Like in your bedroom, the living room, every place that you are living in you have to keep them clean tidy and nice so that germs will not be able to live right there you will have no more germs germ will not be able to make you sick okay one germ two germs cannot fight our body our body will fight them back so they will not be able to make us sick okay so that is all well so after watching this video please copy or write down all of these into your notebook okay and then say i am done i will drop task one for you guys to complete okay once again copy your lesson when you are done please drop in the group and say i am done i will drop task one for you to complete okay i'll see you in the second video clip Hello again, my all beloved grade 2 students. Welcome to our second episode of our lesson. So in this episode, I'll give you task 2 to complete. Thank you for submitting me your task 1. You guys have done such a brilliant job. So right now, we are going to do task 2 all together. Task 2 is about true and false statements. True, false statements, okay? So, are these sentences true or false? If they are true, please write letter T. T for true. If the sentences are false, write letter F at the end of the sentence. Copy these sentences into your notebook and write letter T or letter F after or at the end of the sentence. For example, germs are only found in dirty places. If this sentence is true or false? If it is true, please write letter T. If it is false, write letter F. Please read these sentences carefully so that you can write letter T or F correctly. If you don't understand, it's gonna be pretty hard for you to decide which sentence is true, which sentence is false. So try to read these one attentively and carefully. When you understand the meaning of these sentences already, you will be able to state the sentence true or false. If you have any questions or any doubt that you don't understand right here, please let me know. Be smart. If you don't know any keywords, please go to your dictionary look it up in your dictionary because in your dictionary might help you dictionary can help you to translate from english to Khmer language so that you can understand it pretty well okay so if you don't understand any words please look it up in your dictionary it can show the meaning of the words right there okay try to read them again and again so that you will be able to understand and complete this task perfectly so when you are done please send it to my personal telegram and then i'll mark it for you thank you i'll see you in the last video clip Hi there, see you guys again in this last episode of our lesson. So what did you guys learn today? Your lesson today is about getting rid of germs, right? So what should we do to get rid of germs? 
as you have already learned in the first uh, in the first video clip or in the first session you have already learned the ways that we can prevent help itself or to get rid of germs so to get rid of germs we should practice the proper hygiene and what are the ways or activities that we should do to practice the proper hygiene okay here are we're gonna do we're gonna do a quick review first before we are going to our homework okay so we need to wash our hands with soap as often as possible so that we can get rid of germs soap can remove germs can remove the dirt from our hands so that's that's why we need to use soap to wash our hands and we need to wash our hands not only our not only after visiting the toilet or before meals we can wash our hands anytime if you feel that if you feel that our hands are dirty we need to wash them so as often as possible so that our hands will be clean right trim our nails if our nails are long we need to trim okay trim the nails because our long nails can keep germs can can let the germs stay right there okay so try to trim your nails or check your nails every week if they grow just trim them okay take a shower at least twice a day yes as you have already learned if you have time you can take a shower uh, more than two times three times it would be nice but if you don't have much time you are at school or you're at work for sure you need to or at least you can take a shower twice per day and when you are taking a shower you need to wash your body with soap remember to wash your body with soap because soap can remove the dirt and germs from the body they will not stay on our bodies anymore so remember when when you are washing or just taking a shower you need to you need to use soap to wash your body or clean your body okay and uh, wash the hair with shampoo so remember to wash the hair with shampoo because shampoo can also remove or can we uh, keep our hair uh, nice and also can remove the germs last one always keep our clothes clean so we need to keep our clothes clean and nice so that germ will not be able to stay or will not like to stay on our clothes so try to keep them clean we'll not just play in the dirty places or spill something dirty on our clothes so germs you know will be happy to stay on our on our clothes so remember these things that we can practice the proper hygiene after watching this video please say i am done i will post the uh, homework in the group so try to uh, understand what i have explained in the previous session then you will see homework and then try your best to complete your homework and please submit your homework anytime before the next lesson start thank you for your participation attention and cooperation and i'll see you in the next lesson bye have a good day